Hey Divine Masculines, how are you guys doing out there? It's your girl Twin D and welcome to my masculine channel, Womanual, where I help you guys, you Divine Masculines out there, get to understand what this Twin Flame journey is about, what's going on with you, the changes you're going through, what's happening with this person who says they're your Twin Flame, what's going, there are the Divine Feminines, what's happening with your Divine Feminine so you can actually see where their energy is at and what's going on with them as well but today we're going to be looking at your energy divine masculines so we get messages from your guides and your angels to see what's happening with you the things you need to change within you in order to make your connection better and your life as well but let's jump right in divine masculines and let's see what messages they have for you today our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen all right guys Ooh, one 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 divine masculines all right angels and guides father god what is the situation what's happening with our divine masculines that they should know what's going on with our divine masculines please Oh, you have the loving man. So, Divine Masculines, you're in this energy of self-love. You're in this energy of like accepting this love between you and your Divine Feminine. Some of your Divine Masculines, it's like you are on the right path now. Now you are following your intuition. Now you're listening to your heart. Now you're making that choice, that decision. Because you know what will please you, what will make you happy. So it's like you're no longer people pleasing here. You're no longer doing what others want, what others think, how others think things should be. You're going off of what makes you happy. Because it's like you've learned this lesson that pleasing others is only making others happy while you are left miserable. <laughs> two, two, two. So guys, you may be seen. Yeah, ding, ding. Ding, ding. Something is definitely changing for you, Divine Masculines. And you may be seeing a lot of signs that are leading you towards your Divine Feminine. Let's see what else is happening for you. You have teacher. So you are definitely learning. You are learning. Some of you Divine Masculines may also be learning from others around you as well. You know, like people you can trust. People that you are looking up to, you can look up to. Could be somebody older than you are. Could be a friend who genuinely care for you. Some of you guys are doing some sort of research on this Twin Flame journey or about what's happening to you. You may be reading books about it, searching online, doing tarot readings, but you are being enlightened. You are being enlightened. What else is happening with our Divine Masculines, please, Father God? Happy success. I told you, you are finding your happiness you are moving towards your happiness so now this is what your consciousness you're being very conscious about what suits you you're paying so much attention to your happiness to your joy to your success like everything is about to be balanced in your life or everything is already starting to balance out what you're missing now is that love that you're moving towards because it's like everything is now being balanced in your life And you have family. So Divine Masculines. Everything is working out the way that you want it to. You're dreaming. You are, you are planning. Some of you Divine Masculines may already have children in your life. Your Divine Feminine may have children. And there is a, there's going to be more new babies coming along as well. But for some of you guys, it's even a family situation here that kept you stuck. That prevented you from moving forward to your, towards your happiness. But like I said, you are figuring things out. You are figuring things out. And now you're making these plans to balance things. So this will work out here. Your new family will work out. Your money will be balanced. Your love life will be balanced. 
everything is working out. You got see on the bottom here is planning and action. So you are definitely making these plans for your life and for love. So a lot of you divine masculines out there are making changes in regards to your life and where you want your life to be and, and, and what you're looking at. Like you're looking at like five years from now, do I still want to be in this situation where I'm not being treated right? Where I'm not being appreciated just because I have a situation where things are changing. You are changing. You're realizing that it's happiness. Once you have happiness here, this will not be a problem. Because the only reason this is a problem is because you're not happy. So nothing around you is going right. Nothing around you is pushing off that happy energy. Because you on the inside, you're not happy. And you have the honoring path. So see, now you're on that path that's right for you. Now you're respecting your path. Now you're accepting who you are. Know you're accepting this twin flame journey. Know you're accepting love for what it is. So now you're also loving yourself and you are being appreciated. It's like you're standing up for yourself and now you're appreciating uh, um, being you. Because a lot of us divine masculines and feminines, we never appreciate who we are because we didn't even like ourselves. There are things about us that we didn't even like. And now you are accepting who you are and you're pushing forward and you are living the life that you want to live. Okay, I look at the two of them. So you have the healing light and fragmented energy. So a lot was not going right in your life, Divine Masculines. A lot was not going right in your heart, the way that you feel. Like I said, a lot of us, we never liked ourselves, and that's why we got we remained stuck in situations because we were more comfortable there because the situations we were in we 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 felt we we felt um like that's where we needed to be because this person already accepts me for for all my my what would you call it i I don't even know for all the, my negative sides, but what you didn't realize is that these people use that negativity about you to control you because it's like, they'll be like, if, if it wasn't for me, I was the only one who would love you based off how you are, you are weak, you are this, you are whatever, but yet still they say they love you and they use those same negative things to put you down. And that can never be loved. That can never be loved, but because you're healing, and you're seeing everything and everyone and you're realizing you are connected to everything here. And that's what love truly is. Loving everything and everyone for what they truly are. And you're realizing that's what your divine feminine, that's their energy towards you. They love you for who you are. Everything about you, they never once told you anything negative about yourself. Because they appreciated you for who you are. And that's what made you scared. Somebody loves me even with my imperfections. But sometimes your divine feminines. They show you the things you need to change about you. And right now you are learning. And you're making these right choices. And making some plans here for your life and it does include your divine feminine and it does most importantly include your happiness let's see what messages your angels and guides have for you in regards to what your energy is showing here let go of control issues yeah so stop trying to control what's happening in your life divine masculines let god lead you know that you love this person, you know this person makes you happy, but you're fighting it because, again, my insecurities and I feel like this is where I need to be and I feel like they won't love me for me and I feel like if I should walk away, nothing would be the same or I feel like I will be going down if I should leave this situation instead of up. I feel that my person won't accept me if I should move to them now because of how much I've been ignoring them and whatever. Let go. Stop trying to control it. Just follow your heart. Listen to your heart, not your mind. Your mind is going to be telling you all of those things. Your heart is screaming out for that love. Your heart is screaming out for that person. Listen to your heart. And let go and let God lead you. 
God leads you through your heart. And that's why when you follow your heart and your soul, you're always right. Because God leads you through your heart, your soul. And whatever God sends you to do is going to always be positive. Get rid of anger. So you have some insecurities here, divine masculines. You have these um, um, addictions and you have all this energy that you need to release. And that's how you're going to get to your happiness. Release the anger. So some of you are angry because of the mistakes you have made. Some of you are angry because of your past situations and the things you, you subjected yourselves to. Let it go. Let it go. Just let God deal with those situations and you focus on your future. And look at your present moment. And realize where you need to be and where you need to not be. Put that ego aside. You see, So it's all your ego. That's why you're trying to control this. That's why you're trying to control the situation because of your ego. And that's why you have this feeling like my divine feminine will reject me if I should move forward to my feminine. Because you know that you may have ignored them. You know you may have told them things. You, may, you know you may have done certain things that cause your divine feminine to lose trust in you or to just pull away from you. But like I said, everything that has been done on this twin flame journey between you and your feminine is so that each of you could see and realize what you deserve and what you should not allow in your life and the things that you should not do because either you're always hurting someone or even you're hurting yourself. All right? To have faith is to trust. To trust is to believe. And to believe is to achieve. So you got to first have that faith that everything will work out. Trust that God will do it. Believe he will do it for you. And then you will achieve it. Then you will have it. Give me one more please. Because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Because like I was saying. You're saying all these things will never happen. My feminine won't love me. Because you can't see it. Because you're telling yourself that's why you're blinded. Because you're telling yourself. Nobody can blindfold you unless you let them. Nobody can tell you something and tell you to do it unless you do it. And make you do it, I should say, unless you do it. We all know when we are in a bad connection, a bad relationship. We all know when the person is not treating us good. But we hang on to it because I want to hang on to it. Nobody can make us do anything we don't want to do. So when you tell yourself all these negative things, then that's just what it's going to be. Negative and it's never going to happen. That's why you got to let go, trust God, and let God lead. And follow your heart, not your mind. Take that leap of faith. So there you go. Take that leap of faith towards where you need to be. Towards what you're dreaming of. Towards what you need to feel. Patience is a virtue. Stop fighting. Just relax. Take your time. Trust in God. Have patience. And everything will work out the way it is supposed to work out. You need to balance your energy. That's right. So divine masculines, you need to balance your masculine and your feminine energy. You being in your ego, you're too much in your masculine energy. But that's why you need to follow your intuition and your heart. Where, where you're, more, you're more considerate. You're, 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 you're on your, so, your softer side. So now you have this understanding of what compassion is, of what love is. And then you'll understand everything that's happening around you. And you'll put everything together. But you got to first balance and have control over both your emotions. See again, your emotion. Get rid of anger. Get rid of anger. It's coming from your mind. Follow your intuition. Follow your heart. And you'll see everything start to fall into place. Just let go and trust God. This has been your, ma your message, Divine Masculines, 434. Look up those numbers and see what it's trying to say to you. You search for a twin flame number, 434. And you got to put the twin flame in it because there are different meanings. 
all right love you let go let god and i'll see you at your next message later